Somalia has been racked by instability and violence since the overthrow of the military dictator Mohamed Siad Bari more than two decades ago. But one region has managed to avoid much of the chaos. Somaliland has been independent since it broke away from Somalia in 1991. Since then, the region has formed its own democratic government and started its own currency. Somaliland's biggest industry is selling livestock mainly to Arab countries, but the region's economy is also dependent on money sent home from migrants who are working overseas. Despite being independent from Somalia, the international community still does not recognize Somaliland as a sovereign state. Mohamed Yunus, Somaliland's Minister of Foreign Affairs, uh, has joined us now today live from our London studios. Um, thank you so much, sir, for being on the show today. We do want to talk thank to you, you um, about why it is that you feel it's so important and that for Somaliland to be recognized as a sovereign state. What exactly will this do for the people of Somaliland? I think this is extremely important for the people of Somaliland, and Somaliland has managed to be stable, to be safe, and to be part of the international community. We have done all of the requirements that's needed to become a democratic state. And I think it is important for the world to recognize Somaliland because we could contribute a lot in terms of issues of related to security, to piracy, to terrorism. And Somaliland has done well over the years and proved to be a worthwhile nation that can contribute to the development of the continent and that of the region. Yes, and at the moment you, you are autonomous, but you are not a, a sovereign state. I do want to go back to something you talked about, piracy, um, militancy. A, a U.N. envoy did come to Somaliland last year, I believe, and it called it, quote, an island of relative peace and stability in an insecure region. How much has Somaliland managed um, to deal with the insurgency, such as al-Shabaab and piracy, um, that exist in the region? And, and how much has it affected Somaliland? I think Somalia has proved to the rest of the world that we have managed to be peaceful. We have managed to ensure that the Shabab and those others who are doing bad things do not come to our territory. We are actually contributing to the, to the safety and security of Ethiopia and Somalia and Djibouti. And I think we have managed under the circumstances to be on our own, to be independent and to do the best that we can to ensure that the rest of the world listens to us and ensure that we are an independent state and accept our recognition. In the meantime, we are having the talks with Somalia, which we hope that will reach to a peaceful divorce between us and Somalia. And we are looking forward to be a member of the international community very soon. We earlier mentioned um, the dictator in place uh, before Somaliland broke away from Somalia. And I do want to ask you about the reports of genocide in Somaliland um, from back in the 80s. Um, there are claims some 200,000 people were massacred, um, clan-based attacks at the behest of that former dictator. What's been done to try to uncover the truth and, and to try to punish those responsible? I imagine that uh, many of the people responsible are still walking free. The first time we had the talks now a month ago in Istanbul, the Somalia government has acknowledged and accepted the fact that there were atrocities and genocide against the people of Somaliland. And they have accepted in writing during the talks of last month that the regime of Siad Berr has committed crimes against humanity. There was genocide. And we do hope one of these days that those who have committed those crimes would be brought to justice. Yes, a lot of people say the first step is the acceptance that it did happen. We thank you so much, Mohammed Yunus, Somaliland's Minister of Foreign Affairs, joining us live from London. We appreciate your time. Thank you very much for giving me the time. Thanks so much. You're welcome. And coming up.